Hi, viewers. I hope you are seeing stopwatches or digital clocks in your home or in some competitions. Mostly we use uh, stopwatches in some competitions like running race or some games like which should be increase the time of two minutes or three minutes of the time limit. So it should start from zero to the uh, with, which is we should count from the seconds also. So in that time we start using the digital clock or a stopwatch. In this video, I want to explain how to create a digital clock or stopwatch. For that, I'm using the Coded Ori software to design the clock or to design the stopwatch. Just go for Google and search with the name of Code.org. Open the link of the software and this is the dashboard of Code.org. Now for creating an app, go for create and click on app lab so this is a place where we should create an app in this we are having the tools like code design and the workspace in workspace where we are going to write the code and in uh, this is the screen or the result place where we are going to see the output and we are having the design for selecting the blocks uh, like buttons or labels or text inputs or images. For that, we'll be selecting the blocks from this area. And for the code, we are having all the different type of uh, functions which is written here. Just you have to drag and drop to make your program to function. Now, as I want to design the uh, of stopwatch or digital clock, for that I should have a timer first. So now I want to view the variable. Before giving the variable, I will be giving label as timer. So I'm selecting the block and giving the name as timer. Then I'll be writing the code after selecting the blocks. Here, yeah, give the text as timer. So I want to increase the font size. And with some other color. You want to use some dark color means you can use the dark color shades. I have selected the timer. And for that, I'll be uh, coding for this timer from where it should start increasing. From we should have the point of zero and from there it should increase to the time the limit what should we give? 15 seconds or 30 seconds, how much time we give? So I have selected the timer, now select the variable for giving that label as timer. Next, after that, we should have a loop, like after it's reaching the certain point, we, our game should end or our app should stop. So for that, I'm using the timer zero, where it should start from the starting point. Now select the time loop. Yeah, in this time loop, at first I'm giving like it should increase plus one for after every second. So for that timer equals to x equals to I'm taking in place of x, name it as timer. And now it should be increased plus one. Go for math and select addition operation. That is timer plus one. Timer already we are having plus, so give the digit as one. After that, now I should give the label, like we should get the text. So for that, now go for UI controls and select the property of set text ID. For this, select the ID as label. Already we are having the ID of for the label. This one is ID one. After giving the ID as a label, next we have to give timer and the time what we are getting. So for that, it should be getting both. So plus, select the sign of plus. Here first I should give timer with inverted commas. Here 
what is the what we are showing the text place like as an input here i'm giving as an input id as timer right with dots so i should give the same layer same title here with dots Next, after that, now give here like what is the result of timer. Next, after that, now I want to give like timer as 15 or 30, you can give. So first, suppose now I want to give timer equals to 15. So go for controls and select if block. If it reaches to the 15, so that we should give the point. If you want to give for one minute, so give 60 seconds. Now I want to give for 15 seconds timer equals to it should reach to the 15 seconds this name it as timer it should be when it reached to the 15 seconds next now select the uh, property for giving some image background after it's reaching and give some sound to make it uh, beautiful or to make it uh, look very nice now for that go for select set property and choose any image i want to give it should change the screen and my background should change so for this i'll give just simple background color change for this instead of some image i'll be giving some background color when it's reaching so i'll be giving blue and when it starts uh, i should get some image off with some white color next select the set property and when you start okay and you can give here also screen one and background color and with some suitable color which you feel uh, i feel like green to start when it starts we should get green next after that give some sound as we are done play sound and select the song from this list alerts i'll be taking some alert sound right some two seconds on i'm choosing i've selected this song next after when it's reaching the 15 my stopper uh, stopwatch should stop now select the go for controls and select the block of stop time loop so it start your code it stops your code now now our coding part is done now let's see our result Now let's run and see. I'm clicking on the run. I've got green. So now we have started. When it reaches 15 seconds, my background should color should change to blue and it should give some sound. Right, I've got some sound and with background color of blue. So in this way, you can design a stopwatch or district clock. You can use the uh, like backgrounds which you can download from the Google and you can upload here. Or you can you choose some other colors also for doing this one uh, beautiful. Or if you want to change, add some other features for each and every condition to give backgrounds and songs, you can add that. So this uh, program we have did. Now I want to give the name of the project. Go for untitled place where you're having you. I'm giving like digital clock. After giving the name, click on save. Yeah, my name is saved for my project. And you know, this is a very simple way which you can create your own digital clock. And I'll be providing the link of the code in the description box. Thank you.